Muhammad Ali, born Cassius Marcellus Clay Jr., was a professional boxer regarded as one of the greatest boxers of all time. He was born on January 17, 1942, in Louisville, Kentucky, United States, and died on June 3, 2016, in Scottsdale, Arizona. Ali entered the world of boxing at the age of 12. He experienced early success in his amateur career, winning a gold medal in the 1960 Rome Olympics in the light heavyweight category. Afterward, he decided to become a professional boxer and started his professional career in 1960. In 1964, at the age of 22, Ali defeated Sonny Liston and won the heavyweight world championship title for the first time. Following that, he announced his conversion to Islam and changed his name to Muhammad Ali. Ali became famous not only for his skills in the ring but also for his controversial attitude and views. He was a social activist who spoke openly about issues such as the Vietnam War, racism, and social injustice. In 1967, he refused to be inducted into the U.S. military after being called to serve in Vietnam, citing his religious beliefs as a Muslim. Ali was arrested, stripped of his world champion title, and suspended for several years. However, in 1971, the Supreme Court of the United States overturned his conviction. In 1974, Ali faced the legendary boxer George Foreman in the Rumble in the Jungle match in Kinshasa, Zaire, now the Democratic Republic of the Congo. At that time, George Foreman was considered an almost unbeatable boxer with incredibly powerful punches. Foreman had also defeated several opponents by crushing them and sending them into defeat through aggressive and hard-hitting boxing techniques. Foreman was the reigning heavyweight world champion and was considered the favorite to retain his title. Ali, on the other hand, approached this match with a completely different strategy. He employed what later became known as the rope dope strategy. Ali intentionally stood near the ropes, protecting himself with his arms and shoulders, and allowed Foreman to unleash hard punches. Ali withstood those attacks, evading many blows with agile body movements, and waited for the right moment to launch counterattacks. In the eighth round, when Foreman started to tire from throwing ineffective punches, Ali launched a counterattack with rapid and powerful combinations. He managed to knock down Foreman and won the match by knockout. This victory earned Ali his second heavyweight world champion title. The Rumble in the Jungle match is considered one of the greatest matches in boxing history. Ali successfully utilized his strength, speed, and brilliant strategy to defeat a boxer considered unbeatable. This victory also showcased Ali's toughness, intelligence and understanding his opponent, and his ability to adapt his game plan. Ali went on to win the heavyweight world champion title for the third time in 1978, defeating Leon Spinks. However, as time went on, Ali's speed and power declined, and he decided to retire in 1981 with a record of 56 wins and 5 losses. After retiring, Ali continued to be a respected and recognized figure outside the boxing world. He suffered from Parkinson's disease and became a spokesperson for various health and social issues. Ali passed away in 2016, leaving a legacy as one of the most iconic boxers in history and an inspirational figure beyond the boxing ring.